The Chase Sapphire Preferred is one of my go-to cards. You get double points on all travel and dining. The great thing is with travel, it includes stuff like subways and parking and tolls. So it really adds up if you travel and eat out a lot, which is pretty much all I do. TPG reader Katie uh, tweeted us that she has a Sapphire Preferred, but she does a lot of shopping. What other cards should I get? Now, if you like high-end shopping, um, there's really no one card that's gonna give bonuses for shopping at you know, really expensive boutiques. There are some credit cards out there, like the Chase Freedom card will offer bonuses from time to time on department stores. The Discover It card will also offer bonuses. Uh, sometimes Amazon.com is on there as well. So. Uh, barring any of those cards that offer the, uh, the quarterly bonuses, in general, I would use a Starwood Preferred Guest American Express card. Starwood points in my uh, December monthly valuations are the most valuable points out there if you like to travel, if you like to have options to transfer to airlines, as well as use for hotel stays, or really amazing experiences, like I just redeemed SPG points to basically get courtside seats at the Knicks game with the SPG luxury suite. So I love SPG points, and I love American Express for shopping because they have amazing purchase protection. Uh, they have extended warranty programs. So in general, I've, I have always had a good uh, experience using American Express uh, when it comes to protecting your purchases and you're gonna be earning super valuable points. Also make sure to always shop through shopping portals, uh, sites, you know, stores like Neiman Marcus, especially over the holidays, we're offering crazy, you know, an extra 10 miles or points per dollar spent. So always check evreward.com whenever you're doing online shopping so you can double dip and either get cash back rewards or uh, points through an airline or hotel shopping portal. So those are my key uh, takeaways there. It's SPG card, you can't go wrong, or get a card with really juicy sign-up bonus that may require uh, a, a big uh, initial spend, like the chasing $5,000 within three months. If you, if you got some shopping lined up, yeah, it can make sense. Even though there's not a specific bonus on department stores or luxury stores, uh, you're at least still getting a big sign-up bonus. Any other questions, tweet me at The Points Guy. Make sure you like us on Facebook.